Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1500. Hey, in this video, we want to see the amazing text join function to accomplish a simple task. We have a lookup table. There are products and suppliers. We want to look up the supplier Colorado Booms, return all of the products to a single cell, and join them separated by a comma and a space. All right, let's go over to 1450. That sheet is misnamed. I went ahead and named it 1500. All right, so we need to look up supplier, return all of the products. I'm going to start off by using the if function as our lookup function. Now, the logical test argument of if expects to have a formula element that comes out true or false. Well, I'm going to ask the question of the entire supplier column. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that. And I'm going to ask the question, hey, how many of you are equal to Colorado boomerangs? Now, that's a relative cell reference. So as we copy down, we'll get a different set of trues and falses for each one of the suppliers. Now, let's go ahead and click on Logical Test. And we want to evaluate this and see what it is returning. I'm going to hit the F9 key. Now, notice it returns a resultant array filled with lots of trues and falses. Those trues and falses will help us pick out the correct product. Control Z to undo that. Now, before we proceed, we did an array operation there, which means there's some operator. Here, it's a comparative operator, equal sign. But any operator, math, comparative, join, if you have more than one item on either side, you are making an array calculation. And we saw when we evaluated it, sure enough, it returned an array of answers. All right, so we have trues and falses. I type a comma. And what do I want if it's true? I'm going to highlight the product column, come over an F4. What that tells the if function is if there's a true and logical test, it will pick out the corresponding product. Now, we want to make sure and put comma. For value of false, I want to show nothing. So I put double quote, double quote. That's the syntax to show nothing in a formula. Now, technically, that is a zero length text string, sometimes thought of as a blank. Now, close parentheses. Let's go ahead and evaluate this by hitting F9. And sure enough, I have exactly what I want. The one, two, three, four products from Colorado, and a bunch of zero length text strings or blanks. Now I need to get rid of all of the blanks and make sure that I have a comma and space between each product. Control Z, that's where the text join function comes in. Now text join is only in Office 365, so you'll have to go ahead and get the latest version of Excel to get this great function. All right, the first argument, what's your delimiter? That means what separates each one of the products in double quotes, comma, space, in double quote, comma. And look at that. The second argument allows us to ignore empty cells or zero length text strings or blanks. So I either put a true, I can double click that, comma, or you can put a one, or you can leave it out. The default is to ignore empty cells. All right, and then in the text, that's our array formula delivering products for the supplier and zero length text strings. Close parentheses. Now, because we made an array operation here and we're using the if function argument logical test, we have to use Control Shift Enter. If I hit Enter, it's not giving me what I want because I didn't tell Excel to calculate this as an array formula. So you ready? F2. We have to use the special keystroke, Control, Shift, and Enter. And just like that, we have what we want, but not so fast. As soon as you enter a formula with Control, Shift, Enter, you have to go up to the formula bar and verify that those curly brackets were put in. You cannot type those in. Those are put in automatically by Excel. When you use Control, Shift, Enter, you're telling Excel, calculate this as an array formula. Then Excel puts the curly brackets in, indicating to you that it understood and calculated it as an array formula. I'm going to double click and send this down. Go to the last cell and hit F2 to verify that the cell references are correct. 
Now, if I hit Enter here, it doesn't work because remember, every time you have that formula and you want to enter it, you have to use Control-Shift-Enter. Now, I'm going to do that again, F2. If you're verifying, then use Escape because Escape will revert back to whatever was in the cell before you put it in Edit Mode. All right, so we saw how to use the if function and an array calculation and the text join to look up all of the products for a given supplier and join them in a single cell. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.